Reflux or hiatal hernia, the hidden pressure causing it. When you are diagnosed with acid reflux, you're told you have too much acid. But let's look at the science behind this. First of all, the correlation between hiatal hernia and acid reflux is 70 to 100%. So where you find one, you inevitably find the other. When we talk about pressure, we're talking about the natural pressure that makes sure that when you chew and swallow, which is the direction you want food to travel? Down, down the esophagus into the stomach and then down from the stomach into the small intestine and then down into your colon. That's the correct pressure. We've all vomited on occasion. That's things going the wrong way. The hidden pressure behind acid reflux and hiatal hernia, however, is belly pressure. This is pressure that is built up in your belly, which should not be there. And what's it doing? It's putting pressure on your stomach. And as that pressure is exerted on your stomach, it has no choice but to bring its contents upward. You're not supposed to go in that direction, but that's what excess pressure causes. So the acid moves upward and you feel acid reflux. Also that pressure isn't allowing that diaphragm to move down fully the way it should, and it's being pushed up against. So now we get hiatal hernia. What also happens when this pressure increases in your belly is that you have three anti-reflux barriers that are inherent in your esophagus, your diaphragm, and just below the diaphragm. Those are all breached when that pressure increases and they can't do their job. So of course you get acid reflux, of course you get hiatal hernia. So it's not complex as to why it's happening, but now you need to get to the root cause of what? The increased abdominal pressure. That's where the problem lies. Not that your stomach is making too much acid. It's not making too much acid. It's just being compressed when it shouldn't be. So what are some of the reasons that you can look for? Now, I'm not giving you medical advice. I'm giving you education here so you can then seek help for these various areas. It can be what's called bad bugs in your intestine. You got too many bad bugs. They're creating a lot of inflammation and a lot of pressure and hence your increased uh, abdominal pressure. You can have a bad diet that creates inflammation. You can have food sensitivities. Also, belly weight. Belly weight just existing is creating pressure. You can wear really tight clothes. You can eat, eat a meal that's too large. Uh, you can bend over after a full meal or lie down after a full meal. You can also have increased toxicity levels which are creating pressure and inflammation. So it's not that long a list and you're not gonna have all of these things. Certain things are inherent to you, but finding a clinician who can help you assess this and know what to do about it from a natural viewpoint will make sure this problem doesn't wor worsen for you. So. I hope you found this informative. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and write me a comment. I love your comments. I answer pretty much everyone, and I look forward to talking to you soon.